interesting problem here. A uh, customer sent me a radio that he said he cannot access any of the FM repeaters on two meters or 70 centimeters that has uh, tone access. And I just confirmed with another 857 that local repeater can easily be hit, have the tone access dialed in on it. It works fine. On this one, did the same thing, set up the frequency, set up the tone, and the repeater won't open. So obviously the subtone is not working, which is weird because that's typically, well, that is part of the design of the radio. It's actually, I believe, in the firmware in the microprocessor. So there's really no adjustment for it. So I popped the top off to make sure that the reference oscillator is on frequency, which I'm still going to do. But what I noticed was he has some really bad ceramic filters. So I'm wondering, just wondering if maybe that's got something to do with it. So uh, here we go. Okay, here's another clue. On CW, on 20 meters, it's putting out no power. Now let's try FM. They got 100 watts, so this, this thing definitely has bad ceramic filters. But can that affect the uh, tone uh, on two meters? Interesting. Never seen this before. Okay, so I contacted the customer and told him what was going on. And he said, by all means, go ahead and replace these ceramic filters. So we're going to go ahead and replace them. This is Curiosity's killing me as to whether or not this really is why this radio won't put out tones for uh, repeaters. Very interesting. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to pop these tops and I'll shoot a little video clip of uh, what the inside looks like. But I pretty much promise you it's going to be a lot of green. Okay, I've pulled the tops off. The one uh, didn't pull off too easily, but you can certainly see the green. These are very interesting. You can see the green on that. All this corrosion. All the corrosion here. Sort of an autopsy here. No question about the fact that these guys, you can see the bridges across these fair or these I, I guess I believe they're ferrite. I know this is uh the individual. These are the actual contacts that are soldered into the board. Plus I think there's a couple of contact spacers that are in here. But you can see that every one of these are Definitely green. Man, this will be exciting if information if this, uh, in fact, is affecting that tone. That's amazing. I literally spilled the ceramic filter guts out on this paper towel, obviously, to toss. But you can see these contacts, how incredibly corroded they are. I mean, that's supposed to be silver. That's supposed to be copper colored. So, pretty bizarre stuff here. Okay, as in my other ceramic filter video, uh, I've gotten to what I refer to as halftime here. All the old filters are out completely. And I'm actually using this as a, an inspection. Looks like I've got a, a, a one hole that needs to be cleared up there in the top left hand corner. Double check that real quick. And we get ready to put the new uh, the new filters in. Uh, I've had a couple of people say, why don't you do like a DIY on this? The answer is because of all these tiny parts. I mean, the other thing is I've, I've had customers send me radios and said, hey, I tried to put in ceramic filters or I tried to do this or I tried to do that. And I've lifted pads and it, believe me, and I'll show you the, my tool here for making sure these pads are clear. My little drill. These pads, along with these traces, are really easy 
to lift if you put too much heat on them. And like I said, you ruin this board, you're done. I mean, there's no, there's no going back. So, you know, if you don't have the equipment, if you don't have the expertise, if you have both, then you probably don't need a DYI on this. But for the average guy that's got a pencil soldering iron or something like that, no, don't try it. And, you know, I'm not trying to do this to make money. If I wanted to make money, I'd be replacing air conditioners or something. But this is, uh, now I'm retired, so I do this as much as a hobby as I do a business. But, uh, no, nah, air conditioner, I think I think my air conditioning AC guy from my condo in Florida, I think he uh, takes his yacht to the Riviera a couple times a year. So, uh, you sure as hell ain't going to do that doing radio repair. So, just find somebody that's got the tools and equipment to, to replace these things if you need them. I charge 86 bucks now because the price of the filters went up. And uh, I buy the filters 50 at a time, and I'll talk to you about that once I get the new ones in. But anyway, here we are. We're ready to go. We're ready. As soon as I clear out that hole, um, we're ready to go. Okay, so we're all installed and ready to go. Let me flip this over and show you something interesting. I told you I'd buy these filters 50 at a time. Well, the last batch I got in uh, was like this. And uh, the e-filter, even though being perfect, has a very dim marking on it. The marking's there, but uh, it sure isn't like its brothers. Anyway, it will work. I think you can just you can see that the the marking is there it's right there it's just very dim and all 50 of them are like this oh well okay i just went through the receive process and uh s meter calibration all that kind of stuff it looks really good so the receiver's good now let's try transmitter we're good all the way around let's go over here okay before when i did this on single sideband nothing happened Hundred watts. Let's go on CW. Hundred watts. So that is all fixed. Receiver and transmitter on HF is now good. Now for the real big one. Did it impact the ability to trip a receiver tone? Okay, so here we go. Let's get the glare off of this thing. There's a local repeater. Before, when I did this, when I, before I, when I first checked this radio, nothing would happen. I'll be darned. Learn something new every day. So ceramic filters do impact carriers carrier subtones that's amazing totally amazing every time this thing would not touch this repeater before i replace those filters crazy well now we know something new every day